so like at any time I'll be running around picking up checks doing stuff and people are like weird about insurance checks because they think oh my gosh uh, you're running around so this lady gives me a thousand and something dollar check to deposit to get started on her huge two thousand dollar job she's all worried oh you're a contractor that's gonna scam and take my money and so I was like ma'am if it'll make you feel better here's a copy of my driver's license here's a copy of my asbestos license you, you can take a video of me so she videos and takes all this picture I sign pieces of paper and I'm like ma'am I'll be carrying around non alarming normal amounts of money why would I be interested in taking your thousand dollars but we have a very complicated accounting system as you can see this goes in later this goes in today I don't know what that is oh here's some hang on that's where I put checks that I forgot where I put them so I won't oops yeah a couple months old in addition to transporting large sums of money John has also been dealing with a customer that won't pay Again. So about two, three years ago, lady's house floods. We're not going to give her name. Um, I don't want to give us any more information than that, but we'll just call her Miss Givens and Take. So Miss Givens is given money from an insurance company and she takes it and decides not to pay us. We're very documented, we're very straightforward, so she kept the money. Go to court. She immediately loses, and now she has a judgment against her that's two years old, and of course she hasn't paid that either. Her house floods again. Who knows why we did the job again? But um, we asked Miss Sue, uh, if Miss Sue asked the insurance company, can you please put our name on the check? Because we've had trouble with her in the past stealing the money. And the insurance company was nice enough to say, yes, we'll put your name on the check. So we get the check endorsed by her. We get we endorse the check. We put it in the bank. Now she calls up saying, we did we fraudulently signed her name. And that's not her signature. And she's going to prosecute. But we can work something out if you make that two-year judgment from, from two years ago go away. So now... George has their on staff lawyer who can handle all this kind of stuff. If you want to hear more from John and George about Miss Givens' take in future installments, comment below and let them know.